trust, we trust in you, Jesus. You're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Are you ready for the most epic adventure ever? Next summer, Group VBS is taking kids on a ride they'll never forget. Get on board the Rocky Railway. stranded by a rock slide. I wonder if him and his crew were able to move the rocks out of the way. Oh, hey, Cam. Nice of you to stop by. Were you guys able to get the rocks out of the way? Well, my crew worked, and I worked, and we pushed, and we shoved, and we finally got all the boulders off the track. <laughs> they were so heavy, and they ended up damaging the track. And fixing that is a whole other problem, and we're still stuck here. I'm sorry, Cam. But it'll get fixed eventually. Um, eventually is not okay. Do you know what this train is carrying? Mmm, no. This train is carrying M&Ms. And do you know how much people love their M&Ms? And if we can't get the train down the mountain and we're not able to deliver the M&Ms, then people will get mad at us. And if people get mad at us, then people will start yelling at us. If people start yelling at us, then I'm going to get scared because I don't like it when people yell at me. And maybe what I should do is just stay up here where all the angry people will never be able to find me. But then if, if I do that, then... Oh. Oh. Sorry, I think I ran out of steam. Oh, my goodness, Cam. It's okay. It may take a little while, but the track will get fixed. And no one here is mad at you. You're with great friends. And we all think you're pretty cool. No, it's the situation is just hopeless. I just want to get back in my train and chug away. Choo choo. Cam, don't lose hope. Jesus' power gives us hope. Think about driving your train. Go to your happy place. Driving my train. Going to my house. Now think about moving the train and you're going up the hill, you're coming around the bend, and you're coming towards the tunnel. It's getting dark. It's getting a little bit darker now. That's okay. Do you see that? There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, open your eyes. <laughs> now I really see it. That's hope. It's like the light at the end of a dark tunnel. When things are dark and hopeless, Jesus' power gives us hope. I, it really does make sense to hope in somebody who will never let you down or get mad at you about M&Ms. Hey, stop that. I see what you're doing. Put, put those M&Ms down. Yikes. It looks like your crew's hungry. Those M&Ms are not safe. Knock it off. Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us grow and we stand together.
Welcome back to Imagination Station. I can't wait to see what amazing things we'll discover today. So to start our time together, I have a question for you. Who remembered their imagination today? Looks like lots of people forgot. Well, that's okay. It's only day two. I thought some people might forget, so I talked to my friend Ava for ideas. I think you met Ava, the red-tailed hawk? Anyway, Ava told me something incredible. God is so imaginative that he created red-tailed hawks with a unique one-of-a-kind creative call. Let's close our eyes and imagine we're red-tailed hawks on the top of a big, beautiful mountain, and we're about to take flight. Everybody, close your eyes. All right, open your eyes. That was so cool. Ava has an amazing call. Now that our imaginations have taken flight, let's move on. Red-tailed hawks have great eyesight, but can they see colors? Or can they only see black and white? Think about your answer. Okay, let's make a drum roll so I can reveal the amazing answer. And the answer is, red-tailed hawks can see colors. In fact, they can see more colors than humans can. Imagine that. Well, I can see that your brains are bubbling with imagination. So let's see what we can discover about those bodacious things called bubbles. Just look at these bouncy bubbles. Aren't they cool? They float, they fly, and they even have colors inside. Bubbles make me happy because they remind me of hope. Hope lifts my spirit like bubbles lift into the air. And bubbles are beautiful, just like the hope we have in Jesus is beautiful. Today, every time you see a bubble, remember that Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus. Did you know bubbles are actually made from a layer of water between two layers of soap film, like a soap sandwich? No matter how a bubble starts out, if you leave it alone, it will always form a sphere, a perfectly round shape. Does anyone know why bubbles always form spheres? A bubble wants to be a sphere because that shape has the least amount of surface tension of all possible shapes, cubes and pyramids. A sphere has the smallest amount of outside area. That's why bubbles all want to be round. Imagine that. You know, today's sciency fun gizmo includes a couple of spheres, but they won't burst like bubbles. I can't wait to show you. Today, we're discovering that Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus. I don't know about you, but I really need the hope that Jesus gives us. Like we just saw, bubbles rise into the air when we blow into the bubble solution. Today's sciency fun gizmo kind of reminds me of bubbles, but it's way more fun. This, my friends, is called a hope and hover. I love how it works. Watch this. Sometimes when I'm feeling a little down, I need to remember the hope Jesus gives us. The hope Jesus gives raises my spirits and makes me feel better. And sometimes another person might be feeling down and I can tell that friend about the hope we have in Jesus. Then the hope Jesus gives can make my friend feel better. And other times I can celebrate with my friend that we both have hope in Jesus. We can thank Jesus together for the hope he gives us and it lifts us both up. Now it's your turn. Your fun hope and hover can remind you that Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus. 
Don't touch the Hope and Hovers just yet. We'll assemble them together, okay? Let's lay out all of your supplies. You should have two white spheres, one blue plastic loop, and a cardboard flute. I've decorated my cardboard flute with markers. I also drew faces on my spheres to remind me of my friends. To assemble your Hope and Hover, first take the cardboard flute. Find the square shaped hole on the flute. Grab your blue plastic loop and insert it into the square shaped hole. Make sure that you align the loop so that the circles on the cardboard flute are coming through directly center. Then grab your spheres. Carefully balance them in the blue plastic loop and you're ready to experiment with your hope and hover. If you'd like for both of the spheres to rise together, hold the flute without covering up either of the holes. If you would like one sphere to rise, cover one of the holes with your finger. If you'd like the other to rise, cover the other hole. Sometimes we're up and sometimes we're down. The hope Jesus gives us can always lift us up and we can share the hope we have in Jesus with our friends and family members. Then they can be lifted by the hope of Jesus too. Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus. Now it's your turn to experiment with your hope and hover. Have fun. When it's time to come back, you'll hear the train whistle. Have fun. Well, we've come to the end of our time at Imagination Station. Take your hope and hover and put all of the pieces inside a baggie. That way none of them get lost. If you have a Try This at Home sticker, it reminds you of the daily Bible point. Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus. All right, we'll see you next time here at Imagination Station. <laughs>
Oh, well, I don't have it. There's a neighbor across the hall, but I, I kind of want to keep it. Like this. Yeah, I can give it to Pablo. <laughs> Why don't you just put your uh, put your hope and hunger things away though, if you haven't already, just for a few minutes. While Jay yeah, 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 ah! I'll totally enjoy them uh, in just in just a bit. But yeah, we get to do uh, the kid video part. So uh, you guys remember yesterday, or you all know the whole whole theme for our VBS this week is how Jesus' power pulls us through. And then yesterday we saw that cool video of Dominic and how he's having a, such a hard time breaking guys. the board. <laughs> breaking the board in karate class and moving up a level Yay. of health. Uh, but he's got to praise God for it. strength. Um, and that's a good reminder of what we can do, right? We can always pray to God to give us strength, uh, to help us settle and to focus. Uh, and it, it's another way that God can pull us through. And then today we're talking about hope, right? But before we get into it too much, I want to see a show of hands. Does anybody have in their home a musical instrument? Maybe you do? Okay. Does anybody no, 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 no. Their hand if you play that musical instrument? Oh, cool. Wow. I my ukulele. Oh my. I, mean, I do have a harmonica, but I haven't seen it. <laughs> oh, I wonder if it went missing on purpose. I'm shocked that you can't find it. Well, well, I have uh, I have a guitar here. It's not a real guitar. It says singing cowboy on it. It's a toy. But I have it. I absolutely have it. And so there's someone, Annalise, who's going to be in our kid video today, and she has a musical instrument. But I want you guys to pay attention and to see how she uses it and how it ties in with hope, okay? So, uh, Josh, if you want to roll the video, uh, we'll watch the story of Annalise and see what kind of instrument she has. Annalise? Who's Annalise? Here she comes. <laughs> My name is Annalise and I'm 11 years old. Yeah. Annalise is a singer and accordion player. I started playing the accordion at the age of 8 years old. She plays a style of traditional Mexican music called Norteño. I love making music because I feel happy when I make music. I feel like I'm like more closer to God because I sing for him and I play for him. When she's not playing music, Annalise loves playing basketball with her brothers and taking care of all the animals on the ranch in Arizona where she lives. On our ranch we have horses, pigs, chickens, and goats. My horse's name is Frosty. He's a really nice horse. Sometimes he's really sleepy. He doesn't like to walk. I don't think he sleeps in the night or something, but he's really tired. Annalise didn't know when she started playing music years ago that it would end up being so helpful and bringing hope to her and her grandmother when they went through a hard time. So my grandma was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2017. As her grandma fought cancer, Annalise and her accordion constantly kept her grandma's spirits up and helped her to keep fighting. Um, when I prayed my accordion to my grandma, I would be happy because I would see her happy. So she would smile, be like really happy, and my grandpa as well, he would be happy too. I usually play um, one of her favorite songs, which is Let's Praise the Lord. And she loved that song. Annalise sings that song for us. I'm gonna use my hands to praise the Lord. I'm gonna use my hands to praise the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. He is wonderful, marvelous. Lord of lords, kings of kings. Annalise and her grandma held on to hope in Jesus, even though times were hard. What brought me hope was that I would always hear pray 
like in my like opinion, I would be sad when I would see her like drink all those medicines that she would have to drink. But I knew she had hope that God would make a miracle in her. After lots of praying and trusting in Jesus's power, Annalise's grandmother got better. God healed her from cancer. <laughs> Jesus' power gives us hope means to me like Jesus has love for us. Jesus has the power for us to have hope in him. In the Bible, in the book of Psalms, chapter 31, verse 24, it says, So be strong and courageous, all you who put your hope in the Lord. God's always with you. God loves you. God's here for you. God loves everyone equally. He would love you too. Annalise learned that Jesus' power gives us hope. All righty. So Annalise plays an accordion. Did you see that one coming? A little surprising, right? And it was orange too. So that's pretty fancy. Pretty amazing. <laughs> So guys, Annalise was saying how music gives her hope and it gave her family hope during an uncertain time when her grandma was sick. What are some th things that give you hope? It could be music or it could be something else. What are some things that, that make you guys feel good? I like my singing. Yes, I see a hand in the literal camp. My favorite thing that makes me happy is when I sing. Beautiful. I feel the same way, especially when I have to do something that's not too much fun, like chores. Like if I have to mop or do the dishes, I like to sing, and it makes it a little bit more fun. Yeah, it definitely creates hope that the hope will be done soon, for sure. Anybody else have something that they do that brings them hope? I see some more hands in literal camp. Cooper, what gives you hope, Cooper? The blankies. The blankies. What gives you hope? Um, my what gives me hope is seeing my cousins. Oh, beautiful family what definitely makes, gives what you makes hope. Me for yeah, let's hear it, Prince. What gives you hope? Me happy. Um, is when me, Nia, and, and mom play a game together. Oh, that's the best. Time with mom. When, it, when, you can't when, beat it. That's great. Yeah, when, Noah. When, when, I, when, I, when I'm happy, I give hugs. You give hugs? Yeah. That's yeah. so good. Yay. Oh, everybody loves a hug. That's so awesome. Yes, Emma, you've been so patient. Um, my grandma and my whole family make me happy. Oh, beautiful. Yes, they, you have they support me. Yes, ma'am, they do. They do. And they love you so much. Oh, my goodness. And I know you love them, too. So, guys, I love how you all had so many different answers of things that you love things that give you hope and comfort. Now let's talk a little bit about a talent. So Annalise in the video has a talent for playing music and bringing hope to her grandmother and her family. Do yes. you guys have talents? What do you think? I bet you do. Is there something that you enjoy doing or that you feel that you're pretty good at? Yes, Will. Oh, I know you got talent. Football. Um, football yes sports are such a big talent absolutely you have to be a good listener you have to be focused that's that's a talent no, so, yes danielle um obbies like say that again obbies like it's kind of like that you it's like a lot. yeah I, oh. play, I play roblox and lucas Sweet. Yeah, okay, great. so that definitely that is a talent nice. because I'm sure you have to picture the thing that you want to make maybe and kind of plan it out. Oh, so, yeah, that's really good. Lucas? It's probably creative. 
creativity and curiosity. I ask a lot of questions. I would, very I good. I would aim that hundred percent. You certainly do, and you can use those things, curiosity, um, and creativity, in so many different ways, in lots of different mm -hmm. ways. All right, I see Will. Tell me, I know I see Robbie. Tell me about your talent, Robbie. Dancing. <laughs> dancing. 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 Ballerinas, yay! You know, I feel like I have a talent for dancing too, but some people disagree. Shocker, right? All right. Well, thank you. Okay, Noah, you want to tell me about your talent? A robot. A robot? Yeah, maybe you can act like a robot or even create a robot. That's a talent for sure. And Prince, you've been so patient. Okay. Did you want to jump in there, Prince, with a talent? Yes. Yeah. I'd love to hear it. My talent, um, my talent, um, is, um, is playing the keyboard. Beautiful. A musical talent. That's so much fun. And that's the cool thing about talents, guys. Usually a talent is something that you enjoy doing and you can practice it. You can take classes. You can do, do different things to make your talent grow. And kind of like Annalise in our story today, she used her talent to do some work with it and, and kind of involve God a little bit and to share God with her grandmother and her family and things like that. So with your talents, all the cool things that you're able to do, you're going to show people a side of God and they're going to see that through you and through your talents. So uh, it's definitely, it, it's a big deal. And it's something you can do for the rest of your life, which is really fun. And I see in the literal camp, it looks like Cooper, I believe, has a hand up. Um, running fast. Oh boy, that is a talent. You can in a races and win medals. I I ran a race and got a medal one time, and I said I'll never do that again. So that was why I used my talent up on that one one day. But I practiced for it too. And then yes, also in in the literal bunch. My talent is dancing. Woo, that's a good one. You and Robbie can, can cut a rug. <laughs> Cousins cut a rug. That's I love it. <laughs> I, oh, yes, that, that's good. Sweet, sweet. Well, guys, that's so many um, cool talents. So many cool talents. And again, um, Using your talent to, um, to to do things for God or to bring people closer to God is the best use of your talent for sure. Same oh. way uh, with Annalise, because you can bring hope to other people through your talent. Well, and I you're the only, none of us have the same talents, which is really cool because God made us so very different and all uh, so very important. So before I run out of time, I want you guys to find in your little kits uh, your um, little cards. Yesterday, we put Ramsey together. And on the back of Ramsey, it has our theme for the day and our Bible verse. So if you guys want to pull out Ava, who's our, I believe it was a red-tailed hawk. Uh, on the back, it says, Jesus Power gives us I'm prepared. Yo, I'm glad you did. I made it all. I can't wait to reach Lawrence Elk. Oh, I think that'll, that's coming. You betcha. So everybody got at Ava, and then on the back, you have a great verse from Psalm, Psalms, and you guys know that Psalms is in the Old Testament, and it's Psalm 31, 24, and it says, so be strong and courageous, all you who put your hope, talked a lot about hope today, in the Lord. What a fantastic verse, be strong and courageous, and I know you guys are. So you can punch out uh, Ava, pull her out, and then if you pull the stand forward, and then you can get it in that little notch there. And then she'll be able to stand up. You'll have a bunch of little critters you can hang out with. So there's Ava. I got a whole bunch in there. Yeah. Well, the other ones we'll save for the next three days. But you can go ahead and enjoy hanging out with Ramsey and, uh, and Ava, which is really cool. And, guys, don't forget uh, your theme for the day. Jesus' power gives us hope. 
to trust Jesus out there. Did you guys fall asleep? Who Who's having bedtime right now? Stop that. All right, let's do it again. Jesus power gives us hope. Jesus. Oh, there we go. Somebody woke you guys. All right. Well, that was good. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching that kid video. So we'll, we'll check in tomorrow and see, see another kiddo. All right. Thanks, Jen. My pleasure. See you later. All right. Well, that was terrific to hear about uh, hear about her talent and hear about the ways she's using it for for the Lord and to help people. It's uh, great to see you guys. I'm glad that you've been here. Did you did you color Ramsey yesterday? Ramsey, the uh, the uh, the big horn sheep. Anybody anybody want to hold up their their picture of Ramsey if it's there around you? Well, there's Ramsey. There's I get it. okay. Oh, Emma, come Emma, on. Emma's very nice. Very nice, Emma. Good Someone? job. There's oh, some other there's some other literals have some have uh -huh. some big horn sheep. Excellent guys. Good job. Good work. Excellent, Emma. Terrific. Color Eva for yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, Color Eva. We'd love to see tomorrow when you uh, when you get your oh very man, that's a multicolored big horn sheep. So and there's a black one. Big be, be sure, maybe a brown one. Be oh. sure and uh, oh, and no one did one. No, no nice, Noah. Great, great. And, so, and so did uh, yeah, uh my oh, that's that's gorgeous. Great job. Is, you, is this cute? Yeah. 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 I love making muffins. Uh, let's do a song together. Can we do a song together? Oh, I made the uh, to, uh, to, we want to see your faces. I know some of you are kind of shy. But, uh, you we can see who's all here. So be sure, be sure tomorrow when you oh, check who's, in. Who's here in the Jamigas family? And Alex, I, don't I think I remember them, but I I don't really think I do. Well, uh, well, maybe tomorrow. Be sure to uh, when you when you sign on, be sure to use your video so we can all see it. It's fun to be able to see each other. Uh, yes. Uh, so uh, yeah, hey Dan. So uh, uh, Lawrence Eel. So uh, let's sing, let's sing a song together. Let's sing. Uh, Roll the gospel chariot. Can we <laughs> sing roll the gospel chariot along? Everybody get your get your gospel chariots rolling. Let's let's see them. Everybody get them rolling. Everybody get your chariots rolling. There you go. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing some chariots starting to roll. Good I job. Here we go. Roll the gospel chariot. Roll the gospel chariot. If a sinner's in the way, he was not If a sinner's in the way, he was not the way, he was not the way, he the gospel the way, he was not the way, he the gospel he was the the some of you uh, singing some songs. So if you want us to, to play a video of you uh, singing some VBS songs, you only have to do one thing. You have to send us a video of you singing a VBS song. So have your parents help you and make a video of, of you uh, singing a VBS song and have them send it to me and we will be sure I can't remember any song. to put it on one night. So uh, send that to us. We'd love to see you guys and hear you guys. Uh, all right. Um, what a great night. What a lot of fun we had. We, we learned. 
What do we learn? Jesus' power gives us what? Hope. So what do we do? Trust Jesus. Very nice. That's exactly right. Uh, be sure to come back tomorrow night, same time, same place, wherever you are. Same day. And is it going to be the same day or the same night or the same night? Same month, same, 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 same year. Same same 21 years. Tomorrow night's Tuesday, 7 o'clock. Tuesday night, 7 o'clock. Upside so we'll down. See you guys then. Uh, I hope that uh, all of you. Tuesday have night. We'll, we'll look forward to seeing you, seeing your Tuesday face. Night. Let's close the way we usually do by singing what? The Sea of Galilee. <laughs> well, we'll sing the Sea of Galilee tomorrow night. How about that? We'll do that tomorrow. Come on. We'll do that tomorrow night. Let's sing. Let's close by singing Booster. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Booster, booster, be a booster. Don't be grouchy like a rooster. Booster, booster, be a booster. Booster, booster, be a booster. Very good. You guys sounded great and you look great and it's good to see you all. Yeah. You guys have a good night. Yeah. We will see you tomorrow night. I feel like a Bye, Mr. Patrick. 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 Bye, Bye, Jade. I think that's everybody. Bye, Dominguez. Bye, bye.